Grace and peace to you from Grace and Peace to You Gathering here in Lexington, Virginia. Hope you're having a great day. It's been a nice, cool and crisp weekend here in Rockbridge County, which is a blessing after an intense, full of heat kind of summer. Today's message is deflated or inflated. You want to live your life deflated, have you? And do you want to be inflated and infused with the joy of the Lord? Let's pray. Father, help us to understand that deflation can lead to inflation. Help us to find your joy today if we don't know it. In Jesus' name I pray. So, just got a, another note I got to write down real quick because something just uh, I was reminded of to say in a minute. But um, I've had some deflations this week. I'm a member of this organization that gives things to one another and I've given things and I've received things and we just bought a new home and um, been shopping around for a decent couch for our living room and just so happened one of my friends put out a really nice couch. A heavy booger of a couch but a nice couch. It's a leather couch and um, about a week into it all of a sudden the middle of the couch just deflated and it's the strangest thing uh, I've seen it I looked on YouTube how to fix it and been working on it still not there yet but you know I'm especially using it now because we're having home improvements in the basement so that's basically my bed um, kids have their rooms and uh, I've got this couch so it's an interesting feeling whenever something deflates and you sink in with it and I know that in your life as in my life and everyone's life there are situations that happen either by our own accord or by other accords or things beyond our control sometimes that is deflating and you sink down in with it but you don't have to remain there you can be lifted up my friend I was also doing some projects in the yard yesterday and I have a dolly and a wheelbarrow I'm moving a lot of heavy brick and uh, pavement blocks and from one location to the other because our backyard improvements are uh, going stronger because the brush is cleared away so I had a tire deflate and it actually uh, it popped I guess I had too much weight on it uh, so I'm in the process of getting that tire replaced uh, but I also had to thankfully I was able to inflate the wheelbarrow tire um, because it, the tire did not burst so a lot of inflation uh, didn't have enough power in my major inflator that goes with the uh, emergency car charger that I have so I had to charge it up which brings to another point is in order to be inflated there's got to be a charge there's got there's got to be some power behind it and I'm here to tell you that the resurrection power of Jesus Christ and a relationship with the creator of the universe which he allows us to have in the power of the Holy Spirit is the charge is the power that can inflate us back again after we've been deflated 
Um, you know, I was talking about last night about uh, a mutual friend. I went to a, a concert, was given free tickets locally, the Lime Kiln, and bumped into some uh, to an old friend that I hadn't seen in a while. And we were talking about a mutual friend that we have. And during some of my darkest days, the Lord put on his heart to and his wife's heart to help me out when I first moved up here because I was very deflated. But the Lord did his thing and used people to re-inflate me so I could find the joy of the Lord again. And it can happen, my friend. I want to share the word of God about a woman who is severely deflated and Jesus inflated her, gave her a reason for joy, but there were some people who didn't want it to happen, the naysayers. And there are people and there are powers that want to keep you deflated. And I'm here to tell you that the Lord of the universe wants to infuse you with his joy and keep you inflated in life so you can live life to the fullest. John 10.10 10 says, The thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I, meaning Jesus, have come to give life and life abundantly. That life that is brimming over. That life that is full. That life that is vibrant. Not a life of deflation and being sunk in a pit of despair but one in which you can shout the triumphant shout the victorious shout that comes from joy of the Lord Luke 13 and verse 10 through 15 as Jesus was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath a woman was there who had been disabled by a spirit for over 18 years she was bent over and could not straighten up at all. And, you know, I've seen this. There, um, it was one of the saddest things. Uh, I saw an older lady as I was traveling through Virginia one day that was so bent over that, that she couldn't even look up. And you just wonder, you know, the state of her heart, you know, and the, the physical state was really bad. Um... So I always picture her whenever I read this story. She was bent over and could not straighten up at all. When Jesus saw her, he called out to her, Woman, you are free of your disability. Then he laid his hands on her and instantly she was restored. She was reinflated and began to glorify God. But the leader of the synagogue, indignant because Jesus is healed on the Sabbath, responded by telling the crowd, there are six days when work should be done. Therefore, come on those days and be healed and not on the Sabbath day. But the Lord answered him and said, hypocrites, does each one of you untie his ox or donkey from the feeding trough on the Sabbath and lead it to water? Satan has bound this woman, a daughter of Abraham, for 18 years. Shouldn't she be untied from this bondage on the Sabbath day? When he had said these things, all his adversaries were humiliated. But the whole crowd was rejoicing over the glorious things he was doing. Now, friend, I don't know what's deflating you today. What has come your way and has sunk you in a pit of despair, if that's your situation. But I'm here to tell you. But the Lord wants to free you. He wants to straighten you. He wants to restore you. And he is coming to you right now because I'm speaking to you. And his word is alive and well. Psalm 23, I read this morning. I'm going to read it for you. Is rejuvenating to me because it is the essence of this restoration. It's the essence of someone recounting to others what this inflation, what this joy of the Lord is about as we travel together with the Lord in this journey called life. 
Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. There is nothing I lack. He lets me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He renews my life. He leads me along the right paths for his namesake. Even when I go through the darkest valley, I fear no danger, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord as long as I live. That's inflation. That's the joy of the Lord. Now, there is a uh, deflation that we do need, and we can find it in the book of James. And that's where I'm headed to. There is a, an arrogance that we have at times uh, when we are so arrogant and boastful that we can somehow do this life without the Lord's help. And um, I'm turning to chapter 4 of the book of James. It says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. There is a freeing when we come in humility asking for him to inflate us to restore us and I pray that that is your spirit today may the Lord bless and keep you grace and peace to you from grace and peace to you gathering hope you have a great day I love to hear from you